Hello beautiful souls. Today I want to talk about something that's really close to my heart. If you're over 40, 50 and have a passion for creating art but feel that maybe it's too late to start or you don't know where to start or to start over again and you feel like an imposter, well this video is for you. Let me tell you straight away, it's never too late to embrace your creativity and share your art with the world. In fact, the experiences and wisdom you've gained over the years can give your art a depth and richness that's truly unique to you. My name is Paula McGurdy and I'm a visual artist. I live in Dublin in Ireland and I've been pursuing this course for quite a few years actually, but I've only really started taking it very seriously the last few years. I guess since the kids have been a little bit older and things have become more manageable for me. So let's dive in to why now is the perfect time to start. And and to be honest, there is never a perfect time to start. Um, I put this off for so many years and kept saying, like exactly that, when the kids are older, it'll be a great time. And when I've got the right space, it'll be a great time. But there is just never the perfect time to start. So the time to start is now. Or maybe this is just the perfect time to rekindle your journey into art again. One of the most beautiful things about being older is that you know yourself better than you've ever before. You've lived, you've loved, you've learned. These experiences have shaped who you are and they give you a unique perspective that younger artists might not have. When you create art at this stage in life, it's not just about making something visually appealing. It's about expressing your truth, your story, really who you are. It's about your essence. Think about it. Every brushstroke, every color choice, every piece you create is infused with your life experience, with the wisdom and all that you've gained over those years. That's something incredibly valuable. You're not just making art. You're making art that speaks to the depth of the human experience. And maybe you can't put words on it, but that's exactly what you're doing. And trust me, there is a world out there that's hungry for that kind of art that only someone with your experience can create. One of the things that I felt was I couldn't see other artists like me in my demographic. And it really spurred me on to want to create more and want to make myself more visible to show that others can do it as well. I know it can be daunting to start something later in life, especially when it comes to technology and maybe even selling your work online. But here's the thing, you're not starting from scratch, you're starting from experience. Cliché as that might be. One of my favourite artists is a lady called Louise Bourgeois. Um, and for me, she was such an exper- inspiring artist for many reasons. Um, but she didn't really gain traction until her late 60s, early 70s. And Louise Bourgeois created throughout her life. And her work is really to do with I guess memories and belonging, a lot to do with the female. And I just really connected with her work. But I also connected with the fact that it wasn't until later that her work began to be celebrated on a really global scale. She continued to create right up until her death at 98 years old. And her art really was a reflection of her life her emotions, her experiences, and that's what made it so powerful. If she had let age or fear stop her, the art world would have missed out on some of its most profound and impactful works. And like, honestly, who's to say that you're not going to be the next bourgeois? I don't mean that you're going to create work like her, but you know that you won't get to that stage. And maybe you don't want to get to that stage. Not all of us do. But who's to say that if you don't show up? Or if you do show up, that you're not going to get the traction that you want. Your art has the potential to move people, to inspire them, to make them feel seen and understood. But here's the thing. I know it's all good talking about those things, but let's get practical for a moment. How do you actually start sharing and how do you start selling your work online, especially if you're not very tech minded or confident with the digital way that things are at the moment. 
Well, the good news is that I think it's actually easier than you might think. So many platforms like Instagram, like YouTube, like TikTok, even um, website platforms like Squarespace, Shopify, all of that have been made it incredibly easy for artists, for people of all ages to showcase their work. You don't need to be a tech expert. Believe you me, I am not a tech expert. Tech expert. There was so much learning in this. But just start small. Maybe f- post a photo of your latest piece with a few words about what inspired you. And I think if you do that consistently, you'll be amazed at the connections that you can make by just putting yourself out there. You might feel a bit uncomfortable at first. I know that I felt that way. Stepping out of your comfort zone really often does but remember growth happens when we push ourselves to try new things and showing up consistently is key as I said like you probably won't get a huge response right away but keep going because persistence does pay off you're building a presence you're building like a community around you um, and hopefully of people who really love and appreciate your work I understand the fear, you know, it comes with putting yourself out there. What if no one likes your work? What if it's too late? What if you're too old? I understand that completely. But let me tell you this, the world is waiting to see your art. There are so many people out there who would love to see what you are making. There are people out there who need what you create and who will resonate with your story who will find joy and inspiration in your work. Don't let fear stop you from sharing your gifts with the world. I know it's so cliched, but age is just a number and it doesn't define your potential as an artist. Thank goodness it doesn't. In fact, it enhances it because your life experience, your wisdom, your perspective, these are all your strengths. So my challenge to you is to pick up that brush, that pencil, that clay, whatever your medium of choice is and start creating then take that next step and share it. The world is waiting to celebrate art and there's no better time than now. So my challenge is, if you've been hesitating, waiting for the right time to start or start again, let today be the day. Post that one piece of art online, just one. Share a bit about your story, why you made it, what it means to you. It doesn't have to be long or elaborate. Just take that first step. You don't have to be perfect. There's no such thing. You just have to be brave. And remember, you're not too old. It's not too late and you have so much to offer. So go ahead, show up and let the world see what you got. And I would love if you would share below what you're creating or what you've made. I would love to make that connection with you because I believe in the community. I believe in the artist's journey And I would love if you would like and subscribe because I'm going to be making more and more of these videos, hopefully as a real maybe encouragement for other artists who are in the same position as me that didn't want to show up or felt like it might have been too late or I was too old. And I want to really encourage a community to say that's not true. So please like and subscribe and I can't wait to see where this journey takes you. Thanks for watching. And if you did find this video helpful and inspiring, please give it a thumbs up and share with somebody who might need to hear this message. Remember your art matters and it's never too late to share it with the world. See you in the next video. Bye.